kitchen. Hi, Rob. Thanks for coming. No. Cool. Yeah, get the microphone. Nice. Nice. Better. Better idea, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Powerful. <laughs> I'll keep it warm. Hi everyone, thanks for coming. I'd like to um, Come on, big one. introduce Ian Patterson, <laughs> who? who's been involved in uh, Mr. Peach. We've not seen him, but probably going to take the TV on for a while. Speak on, man, come on. Uh, she's going to talk to you about some missing pieces, so thanks very much. There we go. Cool. <laughs> uh, thanks very much, Alec. I'm, uh, my name's Ian Patterson, I'm from Leeds Uni Games Trust, so I'd like to send solidarity greetings to the occupation uh, and students fighting back at Leeds Trinity. Uh, the bosses and their friends in the uh, government of the rich want us to pay for the mess that they have caused. They want us to put up with losing our EMA with 9,000 EFBs and with job cuts while they continue to gorge uh, from bonuses paid from the trough of our misery. As I said, I'm a member of Leeds Uni Against Cuts and I was a press representative of the occupation at Leeds University that took place last year. Now, for the leading role I played in the occupation, I was a victim of a campaign of intimidation by the police. Well. I received intimidating phone calls, first from my own student union and then the police. I was issued with a letter at my home accusing me of being the organiser of an illegal demonstration. But since November the 10th, hundreds of students have been arrested, peaceful protests have been kettled and attacked, and school and college students have faced disciplinary action and the withdrawal of EMA. Now this is a part of a sustained attempt to destroy our right to protest, but we will not be cowed. We will fight for our futures in spite of their intimidation and our movement will be victorious. This government is already in retreat. EMA has been saved in Scotland and in Wales and there will be no tuition fee rises in Wales. But this is just the beginning. In December, the politicians of big business voted to triple tuition fees and yesterday to scrap EMA, denying young people the right to a decent future, but this fight is not over. Thatcher's hated poll tax became law three years before it was defeated. Now, the NUS uh, leadership is failing students. NUS President Aaron Potter has not offered any strategy to defend education and has sold students down the river, mm. currently presiding over the biggest tuition fee hike in history. Mm. My own student union has refused to give financial support to help build for the national demonstration in Manchester a week on Saturday, a demo with the supposed backing of the NUS. Well. Now, the, this, the demonstration in Manchester is there to unite students, workers, young people and the unemployed in the fight for the right to a decent future and it shows that we need a fight in NUS leadership but until then students need their own organisations and encourage everyone here to come to the Leeds Student Assembly uh, on Sunday uh, taking place this Sunday at Leeds Met uh, from uh, 12.30 uh, till 4.30 but, but until then we need to escalate the student struggle with a national student strike and a complete education shutdown now, if we want to win, though, we need to look wider than ourselves and unite with others who share our struggle. And that is why we oppose the 3,000 redundancies that Leeds City Labour Council is bulldozing through and demand that they refuse to implement any of the Tory Liberal government's cuts. Now, as well as that, we need the might of the working class, who, when organised and fighting trade unions, taking collective action, which are on their labour, be able to bring this government to its knees. And that's why I encourage everyone, everyone here, particularly students, to come to the National Shop Stewards Network uh, National Anti-Cuts Conference in London on Saturday. But as well as that, in March, it is likely that our teachers and lecturers are going to be going on strike. And we need to see student solidarity on those picket lines like never before. We need to build for the TUC demo in March and also for the TUC to take up our slogans. No to sky high tuition fees, no to education cuts, save EMA for free education for all. Mm -hmm. Our protests have shown that these cuts are an ideological attack and an attempt to make working and middle class people pay for an economic crisis not of their making. These cuts are not inevitable and they are not necessary. When workers unite with students in mass action against the cuts, we can break this hated condemned coalition and do away with their failed austerity agenda once and for all. Right.